Hey, Ron Tio here. This is the handwriting and note taking review for the OnePlus Pad 2 and OnePlus Stylo 2. I actually wanted to record my full artist review outdoors today, but it's raining, so I'm recording this short video instead. So if you guys have any questions regarding the tablet and this pen for drawing purposes, let me know in the comment section below. So this is the OnePlus Stylo 2, which is sold separately for US $99. This pen supports tilt, pump rejection, and 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. And the build quality of this pen is solid. You can see this leather-like texture on the plastic body. This is really nice because it provides a good grip for the pen. The pen tip can be replaced and there is one replacement pen tip included in the box. And this is the screw-on type of pen tip. I'm not sure if this is the same pen tip as the previous OnePlus Stylo pen, but it looks similar. The pen tip is firm and does not move when you are writing or drawing on the display. The pen features double tap shortcuts, but this feature is only available for the default OnePlus Notes app. The pen features haptic feedback, so when writing, you can feel the pen vibrate slightly, but this feature is only available to the OnePlus Notes app as well. This pen has the scribble feature, so if you tap into a text box with your finger, this virtual keyboard will appear. But if you write into the text box, what you have written will turn into text. This scribble feature only works with Gboard. So if you enable, let's say, Microsoft SwiftKey, which I have done so, the scribble feature no longer works. And lastly, there is this presentation mode. This allows you to tap and hold on the pen and this red cursor will appear and you can double tap to turn it into a pencil and you can draw on the display. But I find this really difficult to control and double tap to erase that. To disable presentation mode, you just put the pen back to the side here. I could not find the latency information for this pen, but for the previous pen, it's 2 milliseconds, so chances are this pen has the same amount of latency. You can only get this advertised latency with the default notes app from OnePlus. So as I'm drawing this line very quickly, I can see minimal gap as the line is trying to catch up with the pen tip. And when I am writing, latency is not really noticeable. Let's look at the OnePlus Notes app which is quite basic. It's so basic that you may not want to use this and the main reason for using this is so that you can get the best latency performance because with other third-party note-taking apps you may notice more latency. So these are the pre-programmed colors and you cannot change them. If you want to have your own preset colors you have to open the color wheel or the color grid and then add your colors here. This is the roller ball pen, fountain pen, pencil, and when you tap on the tool, you get extra options uh, to change the opacity or to increase the thickness. By the way, the haptic feedback for all these tools is the same. This is the highlighter, this is the selection tool and eraser, and you can choose to erase pixels or erase stroke. When you tap here, you get these settings and you can find stylus settings under the system settings as well. This app has the lock feature. So you can tap here and choose to lock it or you can select any of the notes here and lock it. So once it's locked, you can find the locked notes here. And if you want to unlock the notes, you have to type in your password. Let's talk about the downsides and limitations for OnePlus Notes. As you can see, the tool set is very basic. It's too basic. There is no text conversion. So when you select your handwritten notes, you cannot convert that into editable text. Another thing I don't like is when you create a new file, 
So now you can see the root lines. When you create a new file, that template is lost. So you have to enable the skin or the template again. I have someone ask if it's possible to drag and drop photos into the notes app. Let me show you. Um, it's not possible. So this is the split screen mode and this is the file browser. So you can't just drag and drop photos like this. If you want to add photos to the notes app, you have to tap this camera icon here and you can take a photo with the camera or you can just tap here photos and just select one of the items, checkbox it and add and it will appear here at the bottom and if you tap and hold some options will appear but again the options are limited and now let's talk about the handwriting experience so one plus pad 2 and stylo 2 have 2 ms latency 2 millisecond latency but latency performance varies depending on the app you use. The writing experience with the OnePlus Notes app is pretty good. It's able to capture my handwriting quite well and there is minimal latency. Next, let's test with the app Nable. So Nable is a handwriting and note-taking app that's available on Android, iPads and Windows tablets. So notice the tablet uh, actually moved. That's because there is a huge camera bump behind. So if you have the tablet on the table without any case, the tablet can you know move while writing. My handwriting here is quite untidy, probably because of the felt pen that I was using. So with the fountain pen, it looks like this and it's neater and I wasn't talking and writing at the same time, so that helps. By the way, I did notice there is more latency with this app. But it's not a big issue. Next, let's look at concepts. So this is actually a sketching app there are no note taking features but this can be used to take notes and from what i can see it's able to capture my handwriting quite well and the latency performance seems to be slightly better compared to Nable. and when writing you may see the letters move slightly or shimmer slightly before they settle down this is an issue with microsoft OneNote. it's not because of the tablet or the pen. Here you can see sometimes the tapered stroke, they have this shoelace effect. Latency performance seems fine with Microsoft OneNote, it's just that the line quality is not as good compared to other apps due to the shoelace effect, which is actually going to be more noticeable when you're using drawing apps. Alright, to conclude, I would say the handwriting and note-taking experience with the OnePlus Pad 2 and OnePlus Stylo 2 is good. The pen tip is firm. Palm rejection works fine with most of the note-taking apps. The tablet is big enough for note-taking. Latency performance with third-party apps is good enough. From what I can see, the line quality is quite similar to the OnePlus Pad from last year. Actually, the differences is not really noticeable unless you have two handwriting samples side by side to compare. Now among the five tablets here, the Samsung S Pen has the best handwriting performance because you can see the tapered strokes for each letter. Maybe the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro has slightly better pen performance than this, but unless you have other tablets side by side to compare, it's very difficult to say the other tablet is better than this or this is better than some other tablet.